Oi, oi, Moblissi. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to calibrate your games for Pokemon Black or White or Black or White 2's RNG abuse. Uh, if you don't know what RNG abuse is, just go watch my other video on that. I'll put an annotation up. Um, so you're going to need a few things to get started. Um, the way the calibration process works is your DS needs or the program RNG reporter, which you use to figure out everything about the RNG for your game, needs a few things from your DS to figure out how it works. Um, so, this is black or white 1 or black or white 2 only. This is not, it will not work with the 4th gen games. That setup is completely different, uh, so I'll go over that at a different time. Uh, this is a DS Lite or DS Fat only. Um, you can do it on DSi or 3DS. Just, I will not teach that in this tutorial. Again, I'll do that in another time. Uh, you're going to need the program's RNG reporter and Eon timer. I'll link those in the description. You're going to need an empty party space. You're going to need to be saved in an area where there's lots of high-level Pokemon. So in both games, I would do this in Giant Chasm. Uh, but if you're in Black or White 2, you're going to need some rare candies to get them. They're a little lower level in Black or White 2, so I would get about five or so rare candies. Uh, if you have an action replay, just hack them in. Um, I have an action replay, so I hacked a bunch of rare candies in so I could just spam level them up to get a more accurate stat reading because the program analyzes your Pokemon's IVs. Uh, you're going to need some Pokeballs to catch stuff. Uh, chat out with recorded chatter. You don't actually need that for this tutorial, but you will need it for later RNGs, so I would say get it now. Uh, if you could get two chat outs, that's even better. Uh, and you need to record you uh, saying something dumb in the move chatter. Uh, and the last thing you need is a Pokemon who has Sweet Scent, so you can start encounters. So once you get all that stuff, you're going to open up the RNG Reporter program, and this is the main window right here. Uh, so there's lots of stuff going on, but you just need to click DS Parameter Search right here. This is the DS Parameter Finder. So all the way over to the right here, you're going to input a bunch of stuff about which game you're playing and what DS you're using. So I'm using Black 2, and I'm playing an English game. Like I said, DS Original or Lite. This is your MAC address. You can find that in the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings. I'm just going to paste mine here uh, to expedi expedite the process. Uh, don't select any held buttons for now. Uh, then over here on the left, you'll see a date and a time options. So uh, I'm going to put in 5 hours, 55 minutes, and 30 seconds. Uh, you can put in what any time you want. Um, and I would just leave the date the same. It picks it from your computer, so it's, there's no reason to change it. What this is, is you're going to turn your DS on at this exact moment, and then you're going to use Sweet Scent once you boot the game up. So you don't have to use May 30th, 2016, hour, fifth, hour 5, 55 minutes, 30 seconds. You just need to pick a time to turn your DS on at. So for the 30 seconds is the, the most important part, honestly. The rest of the date is all, it's all arbitrary. So what you're going to do is open up Eon Timer, and you're going to want to be under the 5 tab, and type in your target seconds, which is 30. Then, from here, you're going to go to your DS, my DS right here. You're going to go to the date, and you're going to change the date to whatever the date in that window is. So mine is May 30th, so it's... 530 and 2016. And then you're going to change the hour to 55 or to 5 and the minute to 55. So, do that real quick. Now don't hit A yet. So when you're here, what you're going to want to do is hit A on your DS and start on Eon timer at the same exact time. So, there you go. And now reboot your DS. So, Eon Timer is counting down the 30 seconds, and that's when you're going to boot your DS game up when it hits zero. Uh, it beeps and it flashes on the little timer app when it's near zero, so you'll see in a second. It just counts six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You boot it up, and don't hold any buttons down, by the way. You cannot hold any buttons down when the game is booting up until the Game Freak little star logo starts flashing through. So now you can just uh, start the game up, and you're going to want to not use your C gear. Go
go straight to your party and use Sweet Scent. And you'll get your encounter. Iron Soul Rock. Neat. So he's 46. So I would get them to level 50 or so. Uh, you could be 100 if you really want to be sure. So I'm going to try Quick Ball first. And all you got to do is catch him. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and get back to you when I catch this guy. Don't want to waste a bunch of time. Okay, so I have my Lunatone. It doesn't matter how long you take to catch him. His IVs and everything are all determined once you, uh... Once you, uh... Once the battle starts. So I'm gonna go into my bag and spam some rare candies on this guy. I'm gonna get him to around 55, 60. Nope. Uh, like I said, in Black and White 1, they're around this level anyway, so you don't really need to do that. But in Black and White 2, they're way lower level, so... Uh, I'd say rare candy's pretty helpful. 55. So, once he's this level, go back to RNG Reporter. And you're going to want to view his stats in the summary screen. Okay, so. Ready on timer. Alright. So, in this screen, in DS Parameter Finder, click Calculate IVs from Stats. Pick which Pokemon it is. So I got my... Oh, wow. I typed Soul Rock in. <laughs> Lunatone. He's an adamant nature. Strongly defiant. And he's level 55. Now scroll over to his stats here and just input him in. And don't save after you catch him, for the record. You don't need to save. You're going to have to do this more than once. And click check IVs. So this is a pretty small range. I'd safe to say it's fine to hit OK here. And then click search here. So it'll find what seeds you hit, the timer zero, your V count, GX, it finds a bunch of information. All right? None of this is really important except I'd say two things. So I'm going to mute my game audio. Actual seconds, 30. You want to make sure the actual seconds you hit is the seconds that you aimed for in this part here, right? So I aimed for 30 and I hit 30. If that is wrong, you have to do it again until the actual seconds are 30. It just means you mistimed your button press. It's not a big deal. The other thing is the timer zero here. Um, this is essentially, uh, I don't want to explain it too much because I don't, I'm not going to pretend to understand it insanely well. but. This has something to do with the second your game booted up uh, and you can't control it. In black and white one, this doesn't change very much. Uh, and in black and white one, your number, and your number that you get will probably be different. Yours isn't gonna be 1104. Uh, and in black and white one, it's only gonna be like three, it's gonna be like C7 something probably. Uh, and this can change and you can't do anything about it changing. So in black and white one, uh, it doesn't change much. But in black and white 2, uh, this is the range it can be from. 10 EO to 1130. It can be any number in between those. So there's a huge variable here. And you're going to have to restart it m multiple times to do your cal uh, calibration. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I would honest to God say, you're going to have to do this about 20 to 25 times in black and white 2. And in black and white 1, you only really need to do it five times, tops. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to turn the game off, and I'm going to do this with you one more time. Uh, so go back to date and time, and just do the same date and time. Same exact thing. So uh, in black and white 2, I'd put money on you uh, being on the same, uh, you get the same Pokemon again. So you did, do the same exact thing you did before. And in black and white 2, uh, there's a good chance you're not going to get the same Pokemon. So, what you want to do is open up Notepad. I'm going to delete everything here. And I'm just going to write 
46, lunatone, 1104. That's the timer zero's value it hit. So just write that down. What level of Pokemon was that you caught it? So you're going to have to write down what level the Pokemon you caught it at was, uh, what Pokemon it was, and the timer zero uh, value it came up with. So, again, don't hold buttons until the Game Freak logo and boot your game up. No C gear. And go straight to... The Sweet Center. So... You could get another Lunatone that's the same level. Uh, you could not. Like, you could get the same Pokemon, the same level, the same gender, or you could not. So I got a Clefairy. It's a male level 44 Clefairy. So, again, I'll pause it when, uh, when I catch it. Okay, so I got my Clefairy, and I spam leveled it to 55 already. So, we're gonna go back to calculate from stats here in the DS Parameter Finder window. Type in Clefairy. I have a hasty nature. It should be here. It often dozes off. These are a pain to find. And just type in its levels and stats again. So like I said, uh, you can get the same Pokemon multiple times, and that's what you're counting on. Um, so what you're trying to find is this will give you a value, the timer zero value. Turn on these, okay. Search. So again, I hit actual uh, 30 seconds, which is perfect, but I hit 1103. So I'm gonna go write down that in my notepad. So, and I'm gonna write down how many times I've encountered each Pokemon. So, 44 M. Clef. Oh, M. Clefairy. 11.03, 1. So, here's the point of this. You need to find out which one you're hitting consistently. So, after 20 to 25 uses of this, there's going to be a timer zero value that you hit 5 to 10 times more than all the other timer zeros, and that's the one you're going to want to use in your calibration. See, if I hit send results to profile and I created a new profile with this, I don't know how many times I'm going to hit 11.03, like in a general uh, attempt. I just, I don't know which, how many times I'm going to frequently hit it. So, uh, it's better to not gamble on this and just do it a bunch of times so you can figure out what your parameters are. Uh, like I said, in black and white one, you really only need to do this five times. And five times is a lot. Like, you're going to hit the same one almost every time in black and white one. So, do not do it that many times. Just make sure that you hit the same one consistently. So do it five or so times in black and white one. And black and white two, do this a bunch. So I'm gonna do this uh, all recorded, but it's gonna be fast forward just to show you everything I'm doing. So there's not gonna be any talking. I'm just gonna fast forward you throwing, uh, showing how many times I've hit what things. So see you at uh, the end of this. Okay, so I finally finished my uh, calibration process. So as you can see, um, I hit 11.04 10 times, then I hit 11.03 5 times, 11.02 twice, and everything else was twice. Um, and also I, I ran into two separate Lunatones, so uh, after a while I realized uh, running into Lunatones, that I, so I started catching the Lunatones to double check their nature since you can't uh, confirm it without the gender. Like, if you run into a level 44 male Clefairy, uh, it's going to be love. It's going to be the timer you hit that uh, 44 male Clefairy every time. You don't really need to check its stats. Um, so uh, there you go. So go back to your um, uh, go back to the DS Parameter Finder once you've found what your uh, <clears throat> Your timer zero is going to be consistently. Um, I actually, what I'm going to do is copy this. You'd click send results to profile, but this is 11.05. Actually, I will send it to profile. And instead of, I'll do this. 
See, since since I have the wrong one written down there, like because that was the last one I calculated, that was the most recent one. Um, you could just change the timer zero there. Uh, name your profile, put your ID and secret ID. If you're looking for shinies, uh, you can find that with Action Replay or some weird calculation stuff. I'll go over that more later. Uh, but just name it. Uh, Black two. And there you go. That's how you set up your profile calibration. Um, again, these aren't necessary unless you're looking for shinies and you can always edit the profile later. So there you go. Uh, I'll see you guys in a tutorial on how to actually catch wild Pokemon. That should be, that should be good. And thank you for watching. If you could please subscribe, I appreciate it. Uh, and have a good one.